making ranch at home because I always tend to buy sour cream and I can't get through the whole container. And so ranch is a really good use of sour cream that you might have left over. As you can see, we have two of them. <laughs> so I also have reserved um, an old mayonnaise jar. So I'm just going to put it back in the jar. And so with this, I just have to be really careful that I don't thin out my mayonnaise or my ranch too much with this adobe sauce. So when I use, when I make my ranch, I use two thirds of it is mayonnaise and then um, one third is sour cream. Right. So I'm going to start whisking. All right, so. Let me get all this adobe from the bottom here. Adobo, I don't know why I say adobe. And I can even chop up one of these chipotles. If you don't know, chipotle is actually jalapeno. use half of a lime just for starters before I taste it and then a little bit of sugar is helpful in ranch as well as well as some salt So we'll see where we're at on flavor here. So I can still kind of taste, taste the mayonnaise a lot. So when that happens, I'm gonna add in some more um, seasoning. Even if I was making regular, regular ranch, I don't wanna have that mayonnaise-y taste. So I'm going to go ahead and add in more lime. And it wasn't over the top spicy, so I'm going to go ahead and add in a, another chipotle as well. If you have some leftover cilantro lying around, feel free to add that in too. Here we go, we have a nice kick. Let me see what else I can get from the bottom of this, this can. Cause I think I'm gonna just put the rest of the sauce in here. Now I'm thinking I'm going to round it out just a little bit with some garlic powder. <laughs> like no garlic powder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some down there, I see it. <laughs> and some onion powder. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then a small splash of some white wine vinegar. Or some, actually this is white distilled vinegar, but Whatever vinegar you have is, is good. Just not, not balsamic. It's gotta be 
either red or white or apple cider. And a little bit more salt. And I'm pretty sure after this, we're gonna have a pretty, pretty good ranch dressing. You can add some more chipotle if you like, but I'm pretty happy with the results right here. So I'm gonna bottle it up. Then it's always good if you have a Sharpie or something to write the date on top. I'd say that would last about two weeks. Wow, it fits perfectly. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have enough to fit the container. <laughs> 